Okay, guys, so we just did the uh, pass from headquarters here, and we're going to keep continuing on with uh, some of these pass options. The key, guys, one of the biggest things you'll learn when we guard passing is if I can just learn the combinations, the real key to guard passing after you learn the combinations is the mindset and the, uh, the aggressiveness that I pass the guard with. I never want to stop moving because I'm on top, he's on bottom. If I don't stop moving, he can't stop moving. And if I can put my weight and pressure on him while we're both moving, he's gonna get more tired than I am. And guys with really good guards, that's how you pass. You get them really tired first. Their guard starts to suffer because of exhaustion and then you can just grit through and, and find a way to pass. So, um, man, you gotta learn to use that side to side motion and movement and uh, non-stop attacks to make him wilt, basically. So. We're here, I'm gonna push this leg down. If my knee's turned inward, guys, he can get this hook, so watch, boom. I'm gonna push this down as I step back, I step back over, and I'm on the insides of my feet here. I'm nice and low, I grab the collar, and now we're at headquarters, and now I'm ready to pass. If I go knee slice, guys, a lot of times, you know, you may get shut down initially, okay? So instead of trying to force my way through here, I'm just gonna rewind, and now watch this. I'm gonna lean forward, but my hand is going to turn to like a palm grip, but I still have the collar. I want to put the pressure down here. All my weight goes forward so I can kick my leg up. Whenever he's here, he may try to follow your leg. You have to kick it up hard and curl your heel back to your butt. And once you get him, watch, you're going to punch this across. And we make an X with our arms. This is called the X pass, guys. There's a couple ways I can finish this. The most uh, easy to learn at first is just go knee on belly. If I try to put my knee on his belly now, it's going to be awkward. So you need to go one, two. I keep the pants. I keep the grip here. And now I'm waiting to see which way he's going to turn. If he turns this way, I just settle in the knee on belly. And then I can settle the side control or mount. But the real thing I have to worry about and be ready for is once I get here, sometimes guys will turn the other way. And now look, he's going to give me his back. If he does, look, I ride him. And I slide my hook right in that hole. You see that hole? You'll get to see in a second if you didn't. And then I gotta put my other hook in and I take his back really smooth like that. But if I'm not ready for that reaction, he may catch me off guard and I'll lose him. So we're here, let's push it down. Step back, step over. I get in the headquarters, pinching my knees insides of my feet. I go to cut it over this way, he blocks me. Maybe he hits the reverse De La Hiva right here. Nope. And that shuts down my knee slice, whatever. I feel a brick wall. I rewind to the middle, lean, kick, pass by punching. Then I go to the back if he turns, but you gotta let me do knee on belly first. We're here, knee on belly. Now I have to wait and see what he's doing. If he turns, look, I ride, hook in, back take. If he turns towards me, guys, it's just settling to knee on belly. Let's do another angle here. So we're here, guys, one, two, get low, I grab my grip, I go to knee slice, he blocks, rewind, rewind, lift, I gotta put all my weight on my hand, guys, if I don't put all my weight on my hand, I won't be able to kick up my leg very high, and if I can't kick my leg, he'll catch that toe right there, watch, I'm gonna kick, punch, and that also breaks a little bit of that toe grip off, shuffle, shuffle, Analyze and feel which way he's going. This grip, guys, that stops him from running. So you gotta keep that. So when he runs, boom, it slows him down. So my knee on him, with this on him, when he turns, I follow him, wait for his hips to come up, and I put that hook in right there. And then, guys, I always try to pull him back to this side, and then put my top hook in. That takes practice. Lean kick pass, go try that. 